Alright gamers, I'm Danny and welcome to another episode of Retro Reviews. This time around we're returning to Sega's Mega Drive and taking a look at Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. This is the first video in a series featuring budget nostalgia, retro junk review and VG Mobster. Be sure to check out their videos after watching this one, their links will be in the description. Anyway. The game was released 29 years ago in 1991 and was developed and published by Sega themselves which must have really annoyed the SNES fanboys that they weren't able to play this game on their consoles. But they got Super Mario World so I'm sure they weren't crying too much. As much as I love this game, and I do really love this game, I love Super Mario World a lot more. Castle of Illusion is a side-scrolling platforming game where you get to take control of everyone's favourite rodent, Mickey Mouse, on his grandest adventure yet. But we'll get into the story soon. Graphically, this game is gorgeous. Mickey had truly never looked better in a video game, and the levels you are presented with are bright and colourful, especially for an early Mega Drive game. Most levels have some very impressive parallax scrolling going on in the background and every time you defeat an enemy they explode into a ball of stars. Back in the day this was a great effect and added to the spectacle of the game. The animation on both Mickey and the enemies was also very impressive back in the day, especially Mickey's idle animations. He's just stood in place as happy as a pig in shit just waiting for you to press the buttons and continue his adventure. This always made me smile as it's one of the things that has always stuck in my head about this game. I don't have any gaming tattoos but Mickey stood in place with that huge happy smile on his face with his hands behind his back is one I would definitely like to get. As usual with the games I cover the music in this game is also catchy and memorable. I actually have the soundtrack to this game in one of my YouTube music playlists. Especially the theme to the first level. It's such a simple basic tune but it works so well for this kind of game and never gets annoying. So let's discuss the plot of this game. Mickey has to go inside the Castle of Illusion to rescue Minnie Mouse from an evil witch named Miserable who is trying to steal her youth. Upon arriving at the castle, Mickey talks to the true owner of the building, the King, who tells him that in order to defeat Miserable, Mickey must find seven gems of the rainbow, which are spread out around the different levels of the game, and are being guarded by Miserable's henchmen known as the Masters of Illusion. After thanking the King and hurrying into the castle's hallway, Mickey begins to search through the five doorways, each leading to a different level. As well as Miserable's henchmen, Mickey will have to defeat many other bizarre enemies throughout the game such as enchanted mushrooms, spiders, toy soldiers and ball juggling, unicycle riding clowns. Mickey has two forms of attack. He can perform a butt stomp where he kills the enemies by bouncing on their heads. This can also be used to gain access to higher platforms and items that would otherwise be out of reach. He also collects projectiles which can be thrown at his enemies. Most enemies go down with one shot which is handy. This doesn't however happen with the bosses. Throughout each level there are various items you can pick up which will give you more ammo for your projectiles, give you an extra piece of health, grant you bonus points or give you an extra life. There is also a cheat in the game where at the end of each level after killing the boss you can gain an extra life by rapidly pressing the start button on the screen where your bonus points are added up, but obviously I've never used this before. Each level ends in a boss fight. Some of the boss fights are very cool, but all of them can be beaten easily by learning their very easy attack patterns. 
When you have defeated a boss, you will be rewarded with one of the seven gems needed to stop Miserable. The game also includes an easy or practice mode, where players will play through truncated versions of the first three levels with no boss fights. This game has also been released on the Master System and the Game Gear, however they feature different game mechanics, enemies, items, levels and graphics. It was also included on a cartridge called Disney Collection which also included Quackshot and was released in 1996. Not sure what Quackshot is? Check out my video in the description. There was also a remake of this title released on the PS3 and Xbox 360. This version of the game is as good as the original, if not slightly better. It is done in a 2.5 style and it follows the same style of gameplay as the Mega Drive version, but it is presented in glorious HD 3D graphics. The game includes some sections where Mickey can move in multiple directions, mixing up the original formula and bringing it into the modern day. The levels in the remake are re-envisioned versions of the original games, now separated into three acts. These levels include new layouts, puzzles and enemies. One of the areas that was improved tenfold are the bosses. The boss fights in the remake are much more memorable and epic than the original Mega Drive version. The castle is also now fully explorable. Instead of acting as a transition in the original game, there are now many areas in the castle that can be opened up by collecting numerous gems scattered around the levels. And finally, you can find playing cards and chili peppers in the levels which will unlock new outfits for Mickey to wear in the game. Some of these new outfits are very cool and I recommend you do your best to find all the additional items throughout each level. In conclusion, Castle of Illusion on the Mega Drive is one of the finest games on the system. Disney were known for being involved in some fantastic games in the 8 and 16 bit era. I honestly think there might have been a few games from the 8 bit era that are better than Castle of Illusion. But for me, in my opinion, there are no 16 bit Disney games that are better than Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Before I end this video, I'd like to say that this game tugs at my nostalgia strings. I remember renting this as a kid and enjoying it so much that I went to my local market which had a video game stall. I traded maybe 5 games with the owner of the stall to get my own copy. I traded 5 boxed games and walked away with a loose car of Castle of Illusion and never looked back. It took me a long time to beat when I was younger, but I distinctly remember the first time I used all the coloured gems to form the bridge and cross it to fight the final boss. My heart was pumping and I was on edge, but I kept my composure and before too long, Miserable was no more, and I knew I was the coolest kid in my room, as well as the only kid in my room. This really was one of my defining moments in my time of playing the Mega Drive. I hadn't completed many games up to this point and I hadn't completed any that I enjoyed this much. Well, thanks for watching. If you have liked what you've seen and enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget that this is the first video in a series of four where we look at the entire Illusion series. Check in the description below for links to other videos by Budget Nostalgia, Retro Junk Review and VG Mobster. And as always, Keep on gaming.